Hey everyone, so in the previous video of the XSS automation, we have seen that how we can use GAU and KXSS to automate the process of cross site scripting, right? But in that particular case also, we need to specify the string of commands, right? So we are going to automate that as well. And in this uh, particular video, we are going to see that how we can automate the whole cross site scripting process. And all we need to do is we just need to specify the domain and it is going to extract the dangerous character for us. So this is the tool that I have written for you guys. And to use this tool, you just need to follow this video. So let's get started. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to head over to this article. As you can see, bpractical.tech XSS automation method to earn more bounties. So the link is given down in the description. And as you can see, this is the article over here. And by the way, if you haven't checked out our account takeover vulnerability labs, then I recommend you please check that out and practice your account takeover vulnerabilities over there. Okay. So coming back to the video, as you can see, this is the access automation step that we need to follow in order to install the tool. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to download this file from here. So I'm just going to open it in new tab. And as you can see, this is the tool and I'm just going to copy the link address and here I'm going to just paste it so i'm going to type wget and i'm going to paste it over here let's hit enter and as you can see the file is now downloaded right now in the second step what we need to do is we need to install unrar in the kali linux machine right i'm just going to install it by typing sudo apt install unrar and hit enter and as you can see, the unrar is already installed the latest version, right? So we don't need to do anything. So I'm just going to clear it. And after that, we need to type unrar e and specify the file, which was xss.rar and hit enter. And as you can see, all the files are extracted. And now what we need to do is we need to run this install.sh file. So it's very simple. You just need to type sudo bash install.sh and hit enter. Now it is going to take some time depending on the speed of your internet. So as you can see, in my case, it is installing very fast because I have all the pre required tools already installed in my machine. In your case, it is going to take some time. And as you can see, the installation is now completed, right? Now, all we need to do is we need to just clear the screen and we need to type Python 3 XSS underscore automate dot pi. This is the tool that I have written in which we just need to specify the domain name. And actually it's a very simple tool so we just need to hit enter and as you can see it is asking for a domain name and now let's say i want to test for cross site scripting vulnerability on this particular website testphp.wellweb.com so the domain here is testphp.wellweb.com right so i'm just going to specify it over here testphp php.wellweb.com and yeah please make sure that you specify only the domain name instead of the url because if you provide url then it is, it is going to crash okay so now let's hit enter and as you can see the automation process is started and again it is going to take some time depending on our internet speed so i'm just going to show you what will happen when the automation or the this program gets completed let's wait for a few seconds okay as you can see the automation process is now completed and the result is saved in testphp.wellweb.com.txt, right? So I'm just going to open it by typing cat testphp and let's hit enter. And as you can see, these are the following URLs that are not filtering dangerous characters, which means there is a high possibility of process scripting vulnerability here, right? So for example, let's say I want to, as you can see, this parameter is not filtering this, these characters less than, greater than, single quote, double quote which means that this parameter is an ideal condition for process scripting, right? So I'm just going to copy this and let's open it in the new tab. And as you can see, this is the application and I'm just going to specify a normal payload over here. So script alert one script are close and let's see if we can get an alert pop up or not. Hit enter. Let's wait for a few seconds. And as you can see, we didn't we didn't get any alert. So let's go to the source code and let's see what happens. So if we go over here and let's say alert one, as you can see, this is the link and the reflection is getting and the dangerous character is reflecting as it is. 
but we need to escape out of this particular a tag right so we can just do this by typing something like this a double quote and a backslash let's hit enter okay let's see what happens if we just remove the source code from here and now let's try to execute this url again let's wait for a few seconds and perfect as you can see we successfully triggered the alert in the web application right which means that this application or this particular parameter is vulnerable to process scripting so see how easy it is to automate the process of process scripting all we need to do is we just need to specify the domain name and it is going to uh, give us the result of the dangerous character in the output right so i hope you understood that how we can automate this process of process scripting hunting if you have any doubt if you have any issues then please let me know in the comment section thanks for watching